that this is the legacy of President Trump, that from the time that he has taken office, he's used fear-mongering, he's used hatred to scare people, to mistreat people as it relates to immigration and to use children and families as leverage to try and uh, support what's really bad policy is really immoral and inhumane. Um, on every level, regardless of your party and your background, everyone should be able to relate to the idea that children living in cages, children separated from families, is an awful policy decision. Um, who would think that in our lifetimes, and at this day and age, that we would see such things? You know, the president's supposed to be the commander-in-chief and the uniter-in-chief. He is showing us that he is the divider-in-chief. And we must send the message that this will not be accepted, not in California and not in this nation. Uh, as someone who is the son and grandson of immigrants, um, you know, I may have made a legislative first. I'm a member of the Latino caucus, the Black caucus, the Jewish caucus. Uh, I'm proud to be with these colleagues and to say that we all care and we all insist for better treatment. My grandparents came here wanting to do the same thing that all immigrants want, a better life. My grandparents came here and, you know, cleaned bathrooms and they were nurses' aides and they took tough jobs that others wouldn't take. And that's what many of our immigrant families do. All they want to do is have a better life work hard in the community, and pay taxes. They support our economy and they support our families. And there are kids right now in our communities who are afraid to go to school because of the mean-spirited behavior of our current president. Um, as someone who is a proud Afro-Latino with roots to Panama and Colombia, I say let us call for responsible immigration reform and to reject these negative and disastrous and demonizing acts by our president.